Hey guys, Shane here. Um, I wanted to make this video to tell you about a little test, if you want to call it that, I've got going on. Um, while I was at Blade Show, I, I went by the Benchmade booth and I asked them why they discontinued the Contigo and had they thought about bringing it back. And they said they had no plans of bringing the Contigo back at this point. Um, they just left it at that. That's the way they're always going to answer, you know, so they can leave it open ended. And but his next statement kind of, kind of grabbed me a little bit. He said, have you tried the Adonis? And I told him I had not. Now guys, I, I currently am not in any shape to buy an Adonis. So um, at our last little knife guys meet up up in Huntsville, uh, Jeff at A to Z EDC happened to have his Adonis with him and he was kind enough to loan it to me. Now, guys, when I say I'm doing a test, you're not going to see video of me outside chopping things with these knives there's not going to be a linear feed of cardboard or twisted sisal rope cut test that, that's not what i mean um i've been in knives long enough to know you know that this blade shape and, and these particular steels at, at this particular geometry I, I know what they will do when put to use um it doesn't take long of holding these knives and, and feeling the ergonomics to know which one I could do hard work with for a long amount of time and it'd be comfortable. It's not what I mean at all. Um, what I mean is, you know, what you guys always see me judge a knife on. And it's just what I think of the knife, how it makes me feel, how much I enjoy carrying it. Um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to set out to see, uh, you know, is the Adamus truly a replacement for the Contigo? You know, not not industry wise, but in, in my mind, it, it, is it is it a replacement? Um, I'm gonna do another video after handling both of these knives for a decent amount of time and kind of give you my conclusion on that. That's not what this video is, but um, I've been doing a lot of soul searching lately, guys. You know about why I do what I do, why I choose to um, to only only purchase American made knives. And sometimes, guys, I'll be honest, man, I, I, I question it. I question, is it worth it? Um, I'll be the first to admit, you know, there, there are some awesome, awesome Chinese-made knives out there that, um, in all honesty, may even outperform some of the American-made knives that I have. Um, I don't believe that to be the case as far as cutting and durability. Um as far as fit and finish and action and stuff like that, that that's not particularly important to me. Um, I, I'm sure that's the truth. Anyway, like I said, I, I really been questioning why I've made this oath to myself that I have because I've caught a lot of slack for it, even though I, you know, I've tried to make it very clear that I'm not, I'm not telling you this is what you have to do. And I'm not even looking down on people for their purchase decisions, but um, I was kind of browsing through the internet tonight because an old name came up on Bob DeMarco's Knife Junkie tonight. Uh, somebody happened to mention Paul Harvey and, you know, that stirred a lot of emotion in me and I kind of went back, listened to a lot of Paul Harvey's speeches. Mo a lot of you guys are probably too young to remember who Paul Harvey was. Some people would, would probably describe him as a pastor, but I don't think Paul Harvey preached Americana more than he preached Christianity, in my opinion. Um, I know he was a good Christian man, but most of his content just preaches Americana. And in one of his speeches, he said something that that really, really grabbed me. And he wasn't talking about the knife industry, guys. He was actually talking about the space race. He was talking about the fact that, that Russia sent a man to space before we did. And it was a quote that he made that reminded me of why I'm doing what I'm doing. And that quote was, that free men dragging their feet were outran by slaves dragging their chains. As if that don't mean anything to you or, or evoke some type of emotion, um, it's not your fault. I don't look down on you because of it. It's, it's just a society you've been raised in. Um, you know, Unfortunately, it's, it's not going to last. We, we, we can't keep up at this pace until, you know, young American men decide to get off their asses and put in the work 
that it took to build this country and get us to where we are, um, we're going to lose. You know, I, I know that there may be a day when maybe not me, but maybe my grandsons aren't even able to buy an American made knife or an American made vehicle or an American made anything. You know, China's not hiding it. They're not, they're not trying to be deceptive. You know, they've, they've come out and said it, that they're going to take this country down from within. You know, and with the help of Russia, it's happening. It's happening so slowly and, and such small increments at a time that we don't see it. And keep in mind, guys, that Paul Harvey said that in 1965. You know, what is that, 25, 45, 47 years ago? You know, he, he was talking about this and predicting that, that, that these days would come and everything he said is 100% true. It's all come to true fruition. Um, you know, so that's why I'm going to continue to do what I do. Um, I'll take the slack about it. I'll, I'll stop to have to explain myself as often as I need to. But um, the main thing that I don't want to do is I don't want to cause any division over it. Um, you know, regardless of how hard we work and how hard we strive to do better, we, we can't do it on our own. None of us can accomplish these things as individuals. We have to do it together. We have to show love and respect towards one another. And, uh, that's, that's, that's going to be my main goal from this point forward. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to keep that in mind and everything that I do, but, um, not just for my personal satisfaction, but because I believe it's the only way we're going to dig out of this hole that, that we've got ourselves into, or at the very least, stop digging any deeper. So, anyway, look forward to that, guys. I'm going to, I'll be making another video soon on do I think the Adamas was a, a an adequate replacement for the Contigo or a better, better version of Benchmade's hard-use tactical fold knife. Um, that remains to be seen. Do I like them both? Absolutely. I love them both so far, man. There's, there's already things about the Adamas that I've discovered that I like better. There's some things about the Contigo that, um, you know, I, I'm not going to think any, anybody or any knife is ever going to outdo it. So that's upcoming. Um, I want to remind you guys that, uh, tomorrow night, Friday, 7 PM central, I'll be live on with scab on choir boys outdoors and, uh, Going to give away, once again, another Benchmade. Um, so join us for that, guys. That's all I got for y'all today. Peace. Love y'all.